is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing to He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Effective punch there by Lee. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He's looking for that. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Big 
shot lands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Wow, what a fight! Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses with the left hook. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a side kick. And he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown because right in the side control. Exactly where he wants to be. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. And it was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, oh, best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Oh, that one appeared to stun him. He's a troll. Oh, he's hurt back. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. 30 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go, round two. That is, oh man, this dude is good. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again.
Final round, you ready? Third and final round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Great punch landed with so much power. I mean, that right hand landed square. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he hurt him! Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. There's the kick, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. How about that chin? Look at him forcing and trying to shut the liver down. Follows it up with a nice combination. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light up now. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Misses with the right hand. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Judo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to a submission. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. And they both stand up. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. That kick blocked by Lee. What a body kick. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!